Good afternoon, class. In, so continuing the series on physics and everyday life, we've got, I've got my freezer here and it's gotten a little bit icy. So I'm going to use physics to clean this out. In order to do this, I need some materials, of course, which is includes a hammer and a chisel. Now, of course, the this, this is why this is physics in everyday life, because as you can see, this is not a chisel, really. It's a screwdriver, but it's good enough. Also, because there's going to be a bunch of ice coming out, I'm going to need a bowl, a little bowl, to catch all of the ice coming out. So, in the next part of the video, you'll see me actually open up the, the freezer and de-ice this thing. So here we go. As you can see, let's before we begin, we have to assess some of the some of the damage here. As you can see, there's some ice that kind of leaked over here, and it's almost almost coming out of the refriger the freezer over here. So that's why this is a good time to do it because that could cause some the the freezer to leak a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to probe around using some using some rotational motion and some torque to try and see if we can find any um probe for any weak points and ah I found a little a little groove here where there are some extra ice pieces so what you do is you put your you get a nice little handle like this give it a little tap and as you can see there are some I'm starting to go in a little bit all I'm doing is probing right now getting going along the cr the fault lines and the reason why I do this is because what I want is I want really big pieces. I could shatter all of this, but what I really want is big pieces because they're easier to grab and to throw into the sink. So let us continue. And as you can see, if I try to use some leverage here, I'm starting to get, get something going. As you can see, I got a bunch of cracks here. Possibly seeing that. Well, what happens now is as I get underneath this, you can see some of that stuff is coming out. As you can see, some of the, this is, is starting to shatter. You got a nice big piece right there. And now that I've gotten, now as you can see, right over Right over here, there's a nice big spot. I can cut, try to leverage and try to dig this. I'm trying to tap this, um, the, the chisel in a little bit so I can really pop this ice cube off. And as you can see, I got a nice chunk of ice right there. And let's keep going. Actually, this would be a good time to take away that big piece because that was easy to deal with these small pieces all I have to do is catch them into my little bowl throw them away and now we can continue the work where it's a little bit easier to see so now I have here oh. As you can see, I got a nice big chunk right there. Oh, that was a good one. Nice solid chunk right there. All right, and this, this is a lot of the water, so that can get tossed away. This makes it all of this e way easier to get, get out, so. Now we're on this side, and as you can see, there is a crack right over here. That is another weak spot that I can start to exploit by putting my, my chisel in right there. And as you can see, I can start, I'm starting to get a good split between all of these pieces of ice. Okay. 
Okay, so let's do a little bit of a cleanup here. Now we're getting to the good stuff. So we take a look at this. And as you can see, that one little hit got me a really big chunk, a chunk of ice that split right off. Also, actually we got two, two big chunks. And we just, and then, oh, three big chunks, very nice. And all we do is we just keep going probing at the at the weak spots of this of the ice because ooh, that was a good one the reason why is because I don't actually want to damage the refrigerator but I have to hit the ice I have to hit the ice to, to break it but I don't want to break the refrigerator in the, or the freezer in the process so now that we have all that gone, we can kind of pull all that ice out. Now, of course, there's also, if you might might see this right over here, there's a big chunk of ice right, right over there. So that's probably a good one to get a good, a little bit closer look at. See this one? Nice big chunk of ice there. So what I do is I put my, put my um, chisel underneath it. break like that nice little piece that comes out so now from here what I'll do is I'm gonna focus it down over here so as you can see let me clean this off real quick as you can see the ice is kind of getting um, it's starting to um, be over here this part I cannot use um, I cannot use the screwdriver for because this doesn't work that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the hammer. And as you can see, I'm making already a nice little dent on it. Nice crack. Nice little cracking patterns. And all I'm doing is I'm just trying to hit this. Trying to break off the ice like so. So now that ice is, that's part of the freezer is de-iced. I can scoop all of this ice out. Like so. So that pretty much covers it. Obviously there's some ice over there, which I'll get to in a little bit, but that, that'll probably get covered by my hands. So I'm going to end this video, this segment of the video right there. So now we're back. Finish the job, everything is, everything is done. We've got our last bit of ice over here. Just toss that away. And so now the job is done. My freezer is de-iced and will that of, of course happen again? Probably. You know, this refrigerator, this freezer is not, not the mo not a spring chicken anymore, let's, let's just say. So I'll probably be doing this job multiple times over the coming days, but I thought I'd show you this is where physics, you can actually use physics right here. Even, even on something mundane as de-icing or freezer, there's physics in it. So I thought, I'd, I thought I'd end the video on that note where if you're looking for physics, you can find it here, there, or anywhere because physics is everywhere. So study hard and I'll see you in the next video.